for joining me today. Hope you're all good. Okay, my name is Mrs. Eunice, and this is Nozrutu Social Studies, okay? Our topic today is transportation. Our topic today is what? Transportation, okay? By the end of the class, we should be able to define transportation. We should, be, we should be able to do what? Define transportation. And we should be able to mention the different types of transportation. And we should be able to define and identify the means of what? Transportation by the end of the class. OK? So let's quickly look at the definition of transportation. What is really transportation? Transportation is defined as the movement of people and goods from one place to another. Okay, the movement of people, it could be me, it could be you, the movement of people and goods. Okay, so when I talk of people, it means sometimes that it's driving us from one place to another. For example, driving us from home to school, or driving us from home to church or mosque, driving us from home to malls where we can get things. And also, we say transition is a movement of people and goods. Okay, so when we're talking about the goods, it could be a lot of things that we, we, we bought from the malls, and um, it could be items that we ordered online, okay? So they move from one place to another okay so there are three types of transportation there are what three types of what transportation the first one we have transportation by land oh yes we have transportation by what land okay and we have transportation by air we have transportation by air and we have transportation by water okay so we have the first one here, we're going to be looking at transportation by land. We're going to be looking at transportation by land. So this is the movement of people and goods by road or land. This is the movement of people or goods by road or land. You see, where I'm standing on is what? A land. I'm standing on a land. So it simply means movement of people or goods on land. Okay? So... There are different means we can use to, to uh, transport these people or to transport these goods by land. So, for example, we have a car. You can see the pictures here. We have a car. We have a jeep. We have a train. We have a train. Then we have a bicycle. You can see a limo here. You can see a bus, okay? For some of us that use the school bus, we use the school bus to pick from one place to another, okay? Very good. So remember, we have land transportation, and it is the movement of people, from, uh, people and goods from one place to another by road. Remember, where we're standing on is what? Water. Uh, is what well, land rather sorry for that okay so we continue we have la uh, water transportation we have what water transportation this is the carrying of people and goods from one place to another through water this is what the carrying of people and goods from one place to another what through water okay so there are lots of uh, means of this water transportation we have ships Okay, we have ships. I don't know most of you, if, if you've gone to, to a big beach, sometimes you could see uh, ships on the high uh, oceans as they are coming, okay? And sometimes you watch cartoons and you see a lot of ships. That's the pirates, okay? So those, those ships are actually moving goods from one place to another, okay? So we have ships. We have boats. How many of you have seen boats? They are, they are very common. We have, you know, some of the boats that use um, um, engines, the fly boats, the row boats, and they are very common. We watch them in films and in some of our cartoons. Okay, also we have canoes. Okay, I know some of us have been to our villages where we, we saw canoes, and you know, remember, row, row, row your boats. Okay, so. Canoes are mostly in remote areas where uh, it could be affordable for people to move from one village to another where there is no road. 
or where there is no land movement. Okay, so we also have a yacht. Okay, so when we want to have a nice time, we want to relax with daddy and mommy, we could also use a yacht. Okay, okay, so let's continue. Then we have air transportation. Air transportation. I know most of us will be used to this very transportation because this is the carrying of people and goods by air. Okay, this is the carrying of people and goods by what? Air. Okay, so we have a lot of means where people could move by air. So, for example, we have a plane. Most of us we travel using what? Planes. Most of us, daddy and mommy would always travel using planes. And us, when we're going for our vacations, we use planes, okay? We use a, an airplane. Then um, sometimes, I know most of us have seen a parachute, okay? So, this is a parachute. This is a helicopter, you know? Sometimes the military people will always use the helicopter to make sure that everywhere is okay. Okay, you see them up, you see them moving around. Most especially when we're having our independence, you see them often as they move on air, making sure that what we are all secured. And also we have a jet. Okay, we have a jet. Sometimes when we want to have a nice time, daddy and mommy can just make sure that we have a jet where we can cruise on okay so air transportation also we can also carry some of our things on air our goods our services things that that we 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 want to sell things that daddy and mommy want to sell or things that they actually bought for us most times it could be carried on air okay so this is air transportation. Remember, it is a transportation by air, not by land, not by water. It is transportation by air. Okay, now this is our home phone. I'm going to um, allow you to do this at home with the assistance of mommy and daddy. Now you're going to write out five means of land and sea transportation. So you could give me three means of land transportation and two means of sea transportation or you could give me four means of sea transportation and one means of land transportation okay i hope you enjoyed the class see you next time bye